Hello friends! Today I have here something from a hobby store on Facebook, the Dopper Distro. Here is their sticker and here is their Facebook page. So they specialize in audio equipment specifically for guitarists. So if you're a guitarist like me and you browse on their store, you might be lured to buy something that you might or might not need. So be careful when you browse their page. One thing that's very commendable about this store is that the seller is very, very friendly and accommodating. And he reached out to me and asked me if it's alright to recycle a box. And I'm up for recycling, so for me, this is a good thing. So here we have everything that came from the Doppler Distro. So this is the Rose Acoustic Guitar Strings. I wanted to try this out and I asked them how much it is and it's so nice that they told me I don't have to pay for it as it is now a freebie. So that's another plus for this hobby store. So this looks good and it's a normal extension light gauge um, light gauge string so I'd, I'd be glad to test that out. So here we have a guitar pick, a very cute purple guitar pick that's also free. And of course, Doppler Distro stickers here. So I like the design of their logo. And right here is a warranty card. So I have a one year warranty for this Bluetooth transmitter. So that's another plus for this store. So this is what I really got from Doppler Distro. So here we have a Bluetooth or a wireless transmitter for the guitar. You can use this for either a, an acoustic or an electric guitar. So that's how cool this one is. So for me, in my opinion, chords are old school. It's something that gets in the way when you perform. And most especially that I am doing music sessions live now, I feel like the chord gets in the way and it's annoying that it's dangling by my feet. So for camp spaces, this is the way to go. So this is the Swift Audio. It's their WS-70 coming from their WS-50 if I'm not mistaken. So this is an improved version. So it's a mini digital wireless system, works for 6 hours and it has 30 to 50 meter range. And at the back here is the description of this one. So if you want to read it, you may pause this video. So once you open the box, the first thing that you will find is a user manual or a user's guide. This is a huge deal for me because it will answer all your questions. It's very concise, so everything you need to know to set this thing up, uh, how to check its battery life, it's all right here. So be sure to read this one if you get this WS-70. And now we have the transmitters. So here is uh, the receiver. So there's, there's a picture there so you know what it's for. And here we have the port and the LED light and that's about it. And of course, we have here the transmitter. So this is what you will plug to your guitar. So it's the same thing physically. Here you have the image so you know where to plug this. And we have the same thing, the port and the LED light. And that's it. It's a very simple device and very, very portable. And of course, it comes with an accessory, and this accessory is unique for me. I know it's simple, but it's still interesting to, that they included this one. So this is its charging cable that's USB Type A to micro USB, but it's not your usual cable because it's two in one. So you don't have to go through the hassle of plugging in the transmitter, waiting it to become fully charged, and then plugging in the next and wait for that to become fully charged. Now you can charge them all at the same time. So that's a very neat feature, right? So that's it for the contents and how this gadget looks like. Now I'm going to do a demonstration and I'll tell you what I think about it after a month of usage in this next part. This is the demonstration on these transmitters. Now just to give you um, how my experience was with this one, I used this for a mass actually two times already at the place where I work at and I was about 20 feet away from the mixer or the interface and it did not break its connection at all and even the sound of my guitar did not change at all so that's really how great this Swift Audio is. So how this works you have to press hold on and press on to that button. It will light up and it will automatically connect to each other. So that's easy it's such an easy uh, thing to use and by the way if you have lots of channels I discovered that you have to double click or double press on this one and it will change channels and will look for 
the other transmitter that you have but anyways um, I only have these two so let's try them out this one of course with that image it means that's the one you will plug into your guitar and this other one to the mixer or the amplifier so now that it's plugged in let's test it out a little bit So it sounds really good. It's a really, really great device for... And now I'll tell you the price of this. You really have to save up if you want something like this. And it does work for six hours. But what I, what I realized and noticed, the receiver drains faster than the transmitter for, say, a few minutes. So you have to make sure that you don't use up that six hours. For me, I... I'm using it for at least five and a half hours and then I charge it already for the next uh, next session that I have. So this one retails at 3,100 to 200 pesos, excluding the delivery and the shipping fee. For me, as a guitarist, this is worth it if it, you're going to use this for a lot of your gigs and sessions. So that's it for the Swift Audio WS70. For me, this is a guitar peripheral that's worthy to invest on. 